All right, guys, welcome to my channel. I've got another uh, update for the month of July. July here in New Hampshire has been a heat wave and it has been hot. We've had multiple days over 90 degrees. <laughs> And uh, let's take a look at that now. All right. All right, guys, so you can see that my bill is pretty high this year, $239.73. Um, as you can see, the, the supply was $114. The delivery fee was $125. And uh, a lot of you guys don't understand why there's a supply fee and a delivery fee. That's just the way they do it up here in the Northeast. I don't like it. It makes it more difficult to you know, find out what you're really paying. Um, but it's pretty much split down the middle about eight cents per kilowatt hour for the supply about you know, like eight and a half cents for delivery um, And there's no getting around it, you know, it is what it is, but um, As you can see from here on the bottom, we've got a five percent increase from what we used last year uh, this month year daily average of electricity was 42 kilowatts and that's pretty high compared to last last year we're a little bit lower and you're probably thinking how could this be higher if you got these new fancy mitsubishi mini splits and last year you had window units well the answer is quite simple last year we had the window units but we used them only as needed um, this year with the uh, Mitsubishi mini splits they are run 24 hours a day seven days a week all six of them are running they're at 71 degrees the house is comfortable it's cool every room is nice cool and comfortable no humidity and that's the way we like it I could probably make my bill go lower if I turn these off at night stuff like that but I'd rather just leave it the way it is it's always comfortable when we get home um, July of 2019 1190 kilowatt hours it looks like last year we had a dip in August and it kind of drops until December it went, it went up significantly um, so we have a uh, July of last year 1190 this year 1350 um, and you can kind of get a breakdown here so you see the supplier point zero eight six seven zero for our we're paying here you add these numbers here the four six seven and it's probably 0.9 cents per kilowatt hour so you add this number here with all this here and you get around 16 17 cents per kilowatt hour uh, usage history let's add the weather to that and you can see right this month here July I'll see last year it shows 1190 this year 1350 and the average temperature this is day and night because we had a lot of days in the 90s this, this year of a 76.3 degrees Fahrenheit for our average temperature um, we can click on this get a little bit different types of data this is last year there were 30 up oh, see 30 days this one we have 31 days that one extra day could have caused that extra cost about seven dollars a day to, eat, to cool the house um, average temperature last year was 73.8 this year was 76.3 and as you can see here not bad not bad for what we what we have where we live um, it's I guess you're gonna pay a part price to be comfortable and there's a Everything is a little bit a little bit more money in New Hampshire, in New England, except for grocery. Everybody who comes to visit us says that our grocery prices are lower and everything else is more expensive. So now we get paid more, but then everything else costs more. So our houses are more expensive, our taxes are, are, are a bit higher. Uh, you know, our electricity is more expensive. And that's just the way it is up, up here in New Hampshire. So um, so I guess you gotta I guess this is a, a good rundown of what you'll typically spend um, if you had the window units in this this Mitsubishi system it's not gonna save you a ton of money uh, especially when you have high electricity prices up here um, but you can kind of figure out from you know what I used and what you'll use 
uh, what your price will be. You know, you can say, all right, you get a 2,000 square foot house built in the 70s, not very efficient, and you know, 1,350 uh, kilowatt hours. All right, guys, I've got some great stuff coming in the upcoming months. Uh, we're doing some comparison videos. We're going to give you an August update. Uh, we'll, we'll do an update every month, just so you can see, you know, are these things worth purchasing? If you want a comfortable house, and you don't want to put duct work in. You can't go wrong, you know. And you, you know, it is a little bit expensive, but overall, I think it's, uh, I think you'll love them. All right, guys, uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you want to see some upcoming videos. And uh, thank you very much. Love you guys. Bye bye.